All right, Shalom, it's Brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Arun, and Teach Well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Coming, uh, Brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another uh, swift lesson in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is going to go to uh, the lack of respect that the Lord receives in this place. Uh, no individual in this uh, land, and I'm speaking about America, has any type of uh, consideration or respect, which we're going to get that word respect in the etymology, uh, to the Lord, which goes into consideration, all right, uh, to consider something or somebody, all right, matter of fact, I'm going to get the word consider real quick, all right, it says consider to fix the mind upon for careful examination, or meditate upon, correct? Because the scriptures tell us to med meditate uh, continually, which I'll get that precept really swiftly, and then we're going to get into the, the main topic of the lesson. only wanted to get this one precept because it brings everything together. It says, uh, Psalm chapter 1, verse 2 says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Exactly, because our minds are continually fixated upon the ordinances of the Lord, all right, <clears throat> which is told for us to do here in Ecclesiasticus, uh, the 39th chapter, chapter uh, verse 1, says what? But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, again, that's what Psalm 1 and 2 said, because we are continually in a meditation. That's why we always remember to pray and, and things of that nature. We do fasting and we always remember our brotherhood. We do lessons. We're constantly... Our minds are constantly drawn to Yahweh by Shemiah was shy through fear, I would say. All right. It says in his and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Right. Because the word consider said what to meditate upon. And it says uh, we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. All right. So it says to fix the mind upon for careful examination. Correct. We continually to consider the Lord and fix our mind upon the Lord which goes into another word that can have a negative and a negative connotation and a positive connotation. The word amusement. The word amusement means to divert one's attention to. We've been amused by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore we divert our attention to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and become fully attentive to the Lord and consider the ways that He is telling us to live. We have diverted, again, amusement, to a divert one's attention to. We have diverted our attention away from the carnal world, uh, America. That's why the scriptures say, uh, for flee, this is, not, this is not your rest. All right? This is uh, Micah 2 and 10. Matter of fact, I just grab it just so I'm not, you know, butchering it. There may be someone who's first watching my, my lesson and don't know what the, the, the script is. So this is Micah chapter 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Correct. So we we are to arise and depart, meaning what is to depart? Our attention, our attentiveness, if that's a word, to America has to depart from us. And we have to become attentive to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which in turn makes us consider and fix our mind upon him, but also respect. Okay, here's the word noun respect me, and the verb is really what I want to get into. Noun relationship, relation, a regard, consideration. It says, Oh no, actually, this is the word act of looking back or often at one. Exactly, if you continue often looking back. In this case, what we're doing as a respect, we're looking back at all the times that the Lord has delivered us as a people, as a whole, by reading the scripts. And therefore, we gain a respect towards the Lord in a cons and we consider the things that he has done for us. In turn, making us grateful, showing gratitude. You see how all these words will end up trickling down to other things that are adjectives or characteristics that we are to show towards the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, gratitude, thankfulness. If you respect the Lord, you start looking back, reading Genesis and the book, of the, the Torah, start reading the, the Tanakh and things of that nature, and man, man, the Lord been with us. And then you start 
respecting parts of your life. Like, man, he was with me here. He was with me there. And then you end up respecting the Lord because you give all credence to the Lord, which goes into the consideration. All right. Which you're fixing your mind upon the, the things that he has done for you. You see. So I'm going to go ahead and get Hosea 4 and 1 real quick. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Exactly. Because this place is so corrupt and evil. My brother's been talking about that little Nas dude. And he had a whole shoe that had 666 on it and it sold out in one minute once it was released. Because nobody has any respect or or tentativeness or amusement or consideration towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai doesn't amuse him. And I'm not saying that the Lord is here for our, you know, pleasures and our entertainment. But just using the word amusement, our attention should be drawn to the Lord. Simple and plain as that. But people don't consider him. That's one thing I can, I will speak on behalf of, of Akim. And then, you know, we, hey, well, let me say this. I'll speak on behalf of myself. This world has such a lack of consideration towards the Lord. That's why the Lord is pissed. You see what I'm saying? And it's irritating to me. It's irritating to see all these individuals out here who have no regard to the Lord. You see, I'm mean, afraid I'm gonna get a, a quick one because the scriptures talk about that <clears throat> in um, Second Ezra, uh, the ninth chapter. Let's see here, Second Ezra nine. It says Second Ezra nine and ten. It says, "For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, right? They haven't known the Lord. They haven't considered." And they receive benefits every single day. They wake up, they shower, they get to go to work, they eat. Hey, shit, they, they play, they do whatever the hell they want and don't consider the Lord in any of their actions. You see, there's no knowledge of the Lord. That's why the Lord is ir irritated. That's why us men, us men of the Lord, we get irritated at that because no one's showing Yahweh Bashim Yahshai credence. That's why I was about to say on the back, I could speak on the behalf of, you know, sincere Akim. That's that's irritating, but it's fine. Because these people are going to get what they deserve. And when they want to be considered. The Lord is not going to consider them because they didn't consider him first. You just reap what you sow. Well, now you want now you want me to acknowledge you. Now you want me to consider you when all held and broke loose and you've been screwing off. This entire time. Now you want me to consider. No, I'm good. You. That's why we always say to all these wicked ass two thirds, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy with you. Because when it all boils down to who's getting saved and who's not, and you're not the one getting saved, don't come running to a man of the Lord who is on the right path. Because we try to tell you so. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The, the Lord used us as a vessel to tell y'all to get y'all shit together. And y'all didn't want to uh, listen. Y'all disregarded instead of regarded. So it's going to be nothing to the Lord to just wave his hand at you just like you wave. The scriptures say, wave your hand at, at the Lord. You see? Slap the hand away. All right, cool. That's fine. You know? That's okay. Because your lack of consideration... Well, in turn, that's what you that's what you sowed. A lack of consideration is what you're going to uh, reap and then let a missile hit, you know. Uh, so I didn't want to make this lesson too long. I just wanted to come showing that, hey, these people don't care out here, man. They don't care. They don't believe what they're doing is going to have any consequences, like it says in Ecclesiastes, you know. Uh, what else does the script say? In um, I think the script say that shall neither neither do the Lord shall neither do uh, Zephaniah. Matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. <clears throat> Zephaniah one, I want to say like twelve. Yeah, Zephaniah one and twelve, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candlesticks and punish the men that are settled on their lees, that say in their heart the Lord will not. 
He will not do good, neither will he do evil. Exactly. Because you don't consider the works of the Lord. But we do. We do. That's why we we pray and beg the Lord to put on her to to do work. All right. And I'm going to close it on on this one. I've been bringing this precept out a lot lately. Uh, Psalm 119 and 126. It said, it is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made the, uh, the void. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Exactly. They didn't consider the law. So with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who ruin and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the 11 144 first fruit. Brother Kasha, call him to the next time. Shalom.